Welcome to Blockchain Ardor, web wallet and account creation. Not everyone has internet capable of downloading the full Ardor client wallet, and some people simply don't want to waste hard drive space with another application. Or you might just want quick access to your wallet. So let's start with the quickest and easiest way to create an Ardor and Ignis account through the Light Web Wallet. For more advanced users, note that forging is only possible through the full Ardor client. So if you have a thousand Ardor and hope to forge, check out my full client demo video. Now, with the web client, a key issue to keep in mind is security. We don't want to be relying on forums or clicking other people's links to get here. We want to get it right the first time, and then we can either bookmark the page you know, or just have that memorized and navigate back to it. So where are we going to go? We're going to navigate to wallet.ardor.tools. And we will land on a page with the Ardor logo straight in the center of it. And the layout is pretty simple. So first, if you're a new user, we're going to go right on down to the blue button that says create new account. Boom, this is it. Some important information here. At the top, we have your account details. So this is going to be your public address. You can send this to friends. You can use this to send Ardor or Ignis to your wallet from exchanges and so on and so forth. You can share that and it's safe. The second part, hybrid, gather, mammal, unusual, this passphrase is like your social security number. You are not going to share this with anybody. This is how users can uh, steal your funds if they get access to your passphrase, uh, and you lose your funds if you lose this passphrase. There's simply no one who can reset this password. So write this down on a piece of paper and keep it in a safe place. Don't copy and paste it on your desktop. If your computer is compromised and your password's sitting on your desktop, you're kind of a sitting duck. So uh, that's point number one. Write this down, make sure it's safe. For anyone who's coming over to the system from NXT, where you received Airdrop, Ardor, or Ignis uh, tokens, you can use your NXT passphrase to log in. Uh, your public address will be the same as your NXT public address, except you'll replace NXT at the start of it with Ardor, similar to this address on the screen. So uh, I'm going to copy and paste this here. Since this is just a, a demo, you should write it down and then you will type it in here as your password and click log in. And here we are in our web wallet. That's it, we're done. Now, if you wanna check out the child chains and see what else is going on within Ardor, we can see them here by clicking that little drop down menu. We see Ardor, we see Ignis, which is the clone of NXT and all of those advanced functionalities. The AEUR, which is an Ardor Euro peg, you can use Ardor Gate and Mr. Tango Bank in Europe to actually go straight from Euro to Ardor without another exchange. And then there's BitSwift, which is like a tech shop, uh, and they've got incredibly uh, good uh, fee options, and they are offering blockchain services uh, pretty soon. So those are the child chains for now. What else do we see on the screen here? Well, we see that we can send funds to other Ardor or Ignis accounts or BitSwift or et cetera, et cetera, by simply entering the recipient address and the amount we would like to send. We can check our receiving address, which is that same public address we just saw a moment ago. This is the address again that we will send to friends or use for withdrawing funds from an exchange to our wallet here. We can check our transaction history which there obviously is not any history here. And if you'd like to see your history across different chains, for example, you want to see transactions on Ignis, remember you have to click on over and switch to the Ignis chain and check that transaction history. Each of these transaction histories sort of live uh, by themselves, and so you have to navigate between them. But it's all linked through Ardor. Contacts. We can create a contact book, set up all of your exchange addresses, or start to add your friends or businesses if you're starting to interact in that manner. Last, and probably most impressive, is the coin exchange. Now, within Ardor, you have interoperable child chains. This, this means that if you create a new child chain and you'd like that uh, token to be able to be, or rather that coin to be able to be 
um, exchanged against other child chains within the Ardor ecosystem, you can actually do that. All of these coins are interoperable. That's a big difference from ERC-20 tokens, where a lot of them can't actually be traded for one another. Here, we can trade between Ardor and Ignis. We can switch over to Ignis, and we can switch between, for example, Ignis and BitSwift if we want to. Uh, all of these can be done directly in the web wallet. Uh, so as new uh, as new coins or new child chains are created, we are going to be able to stay exclusively within the Ardor ecosystem and have our own exchange and kind of scale from there. It's an incredibly advanced function that makes this very promising for future use. Anyways, that's it. So to summarize, we looked at how to access the web wallet through the wallet.ardor.tools website. We looked at how to create a new account and how to use an old NXT account passphrase to log in. And we reviewed each of the basic features of the web wallet. That's it, plain and simple. I hope this video was helpful. Feel free to check out my other Ardor demos as well to learn more about the features of the full Ardor blockchain. Thanks for tuning in.